are just a typical American family. The only thing they're missing is a pet. But have we got a surprise for them? You see, Stanley Putterman's new satellite TV has just gone on the blink. And it's drawn in a creature from outer space. Like all new pets, this one's causing a little trouble around the house. And he's eating the Puttermans out of house and home. In fact, no! it seems like this creature will eat anything. No! Well, just about anything. She looked right at my studs and cooled out. This dude's into metal! The Puttermans finally got themselves a pet. But they never even had a chance to give it a name. Terror Vision. Welcome to the latest episode of the Bee Movie Club. I'm your host, Kevin. This week we're going to be discussing the 1986 horror comedy classic, Terror Vision, starring Diane Franklin, Chad Allen, uh, Mary Warnov, Garrett Graham, the list goes on and on, all these celebrities, Jonathan Grice, for those of you uh, joining us for the first time, the B-Movie Club is like a book club. I will post online what movie we'll be doing and... You'll check it out if you haven't already seen it. You can send me your questions and comments, and we'll talk about it on the show. Um, typically, I try to pick movies that I feel like most of the people are at least familiar with. But occasionally, like this week, I try to go off the beaten path a little bit and find some, uh, some movies that are definitely a little more B-movie, if you will. Uh, Terrorvision is one of those movies. Uh, I know a lot of people who've seen it, but I also know a lot of people who have not seen it. So there you go. I will never, ever, ever do any straight-to-video movies. Okay? This movie was actually in theaters for one week. So there you go. I managed to dodge that bullet. Um, but yeah, I, I want to do movies that, uh, you know, maybe you'll just have to take my word for it. Okay? Terror Vision, I'm not familiar with it. You know what? Old K Dog at the B Movie Club, he says to check it out. I have to give it a watch. So there you go. Um, don't forget to go to our page on Facebook, the original B Movie Club. Make sure you click the thumbs up button. That way you'll get all of our updates, my little funny comments and reflections. Um, also, don't forget to go to our page on YouTube. Um, KD9575 or the B-Movie Club and subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. It takes a few minutes of your time and uh, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new episode. So there you go. Also, you can reach me on uh, Twitter at KD9575. As usual, send me your favorite scenes, favorite quotes and again, we'll talk about it on the show. Don't forget to tell everyone you know to check us out. So there you go. Terror Vision, 1986. In this movie, um, the, the Putterman family have just got a new uh, AV system for their house, new TVs, new cable, a satellite dish in the backyard. Uh, the Puttermans are kind of interesting characters because the parents are, we find out as the movie progresses, swingers. So there you go. Uh, they live with um, the grandfather, who's like a crazed war veteran, who uh, eats uh, lizard jerky. It's good to know. Uh, the children. You've got Sherman Putterman, who's kind of like his grandfather's son. He's like a young uh, war kind of guy. I mean, he wears uh, military fatigues. That's played by young Chad Allen, who you might remember from Our... What was that show? Our House? Is that the one? With Shannon Doherty? Wilford Brimley? I don't know. Late 80s family drama. So there you go. Uh, Diane Franklin, she plays the older sister, Susie Putterman, who's kind of a punk rocker. She's got crazy multicolored hair. She wears wild clothes. Listens to a lot of heavy metal. 
and punk rock. So there you go. Uh, you might remember her from more recently, uh, Better Off Dead. She was also in The Last American Virgin, and she was one of the princesses from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So there you go. She's a big star. Um, <laughs> aliens from across the universe have accidentally um, sent a crazed monster through the uh, through space and shot right into the Putterman's satellite dish. So now this monster's on the loose in their house. Okay, he is vile and disgusting. Um, he appears, he disappears, he eats people. He can also impersonate people. Okay, like you know, uh, if you're not paying attention, you may notice, hey, that guy looks just like Gr Gramps, but now he's a little slimy looking. The slimy face is usually the indicator that that's not Gramps. Spoiler alert. That's the insidious monster on the loose. So the only people who uh, can take care of it are um, young Chet Allen, Sherman Powderman, and his sister Susie, and her boyfriend, played by Jonathan Grice, uh, O.D. Uh, he's a punk rocker himself. So there you go. He, uh, you remember Jonathan Grice, was Uncle Rico from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. He was also in Running Scared. We did that a few weeks ago. He's been in a ton of stuff. He was Laszlo from Real Genius. Uh, you can't throw a rock without hitting that guy. He's in everything. So I don't want to give away the entire plot, but needless to say, it is vile and disgusting, but also very funny. So there you go. It's that good combination. Um, things I can tell you about this show, the director of this movie actually went on to do such uh, amazing movies, such as the Subspecies line from Full Moon Entertainment, Demonic Toys versus uh, the uh, Killer Dolls, all those movies. Uh, Full Moon Entertainment, this is actually the movie that they did before they formed Full Moon Entertainment. That's all those straight-to-video crazy shows like the Subspecies, the Demonic Toys, all those crazy straight-to-video things. So, uh, as I'm sure you remember, A Prison of the Dead, The Dead Hate the Living, all those, uh, <laughs> all those classics that we will not be discussing on this show. Um, the uh, soundtrack to this movie was done by a Los Angeles based uh, band called the Fibonacci's. So there you go. They thought that the success of Terrorvision would go on and buoy this band. Sadly the movie did not do so well. Neither did the band. So there you go. The movie Terrorvision, not to be confused with the British rock band from the 80's Terrorvision, or the late 80s TV uh, horror anthology show, Terror Vision. So I know you're all very confused. Um, it is streaming instantly on Netflix, which is kind of wacky because it has yet to be released on DVD. So this is really the only, unless you happen to have a copy of it, you'll have to go to uh, Netflix to check it out. It is streaming instantly. I was shocked when I happened to stumble upon it. Um, like I said, I'm, every now and again I'm going to do these kind of movies off the beaten pat, path. You may see me talk about uh, House 2, for those of you guys who, uh, who liked the first House movie. Not to be confused with House MD, totally different thing. Um, I was laughing when I was uh, researching about this movie because, like I said, the Fibonacci's were a big band that were trying to, to buoy their success. Uh, the soundtrack for this movie, I guess... It's a little valuable, is what they say. I don't know to who. Maybe the band uh, themselves. Maybe the lead singer's mom. I don't know. I can't explain this. Um, the mom in this movie, played by uh, Mary Warnov, been in a ton of stuff that we've talked about on the show. Not in the Comet. Uh, she was uh, one of the scientists from that movie. Uh, her and Garrett Graham, who played the father, They've been in a bunch of stuff together. They were in Cannonball in the 70s. They were in Chopping Mall a few years later. So there you go. If you watch this movie, you will recognize a lot of the people. Now, granted, you may not recognize their names. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're in this. And uh, you got to check it out. Sadly, it has a 0% incredibly rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. That's just upsetting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
You spend the time making this movie, a month of your life, and get a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not going to win any Academy Awards. It hasn't yet. Not even any Golden Globes. Cable Ace, I don't know. Didn't win any awards. Uh, but it's a fun little movie. It's only 82 minutes. You know, run on the treadmill. Check it out. Send me your, uh, your thoughts and feelings. Um, next week, my buddy Tori's been begging me to do this movie. I'm going to go back to 1983 comedy, DC Cab, starring Adam Baldwin. Not one of the Baldwins, by the way. I mean, he is a Baldwin, but he's not Alec and Daniel and Billy and Steven. As far as we know. I don't know. We don't have the birth certificate. It also has Mr. T, Gary Busey, Bill Maher is in this. You know, he used to be a comedian. So there you go. All-star cast. So check that out. That is also uh, streaming instantly on Netflix. As you know, I end every episode with a totally out-of-context quote. And here it is. This is TV. T V. Next to food and music, it is mankind's greatest creation. Mm -hmm.